Welcome to Unlimited Substance. How's everybody doing? I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope also you're enjoying your weekend. I want to give a shout out to Ratchet Clothing. They're, they are our sponsor. They're out of the UK. I'll put a link down below for anyone who wants to check them out. I did speak to them earlier. They are getting my order together and they're going to send it out. As soon as they send me the shirts, you'll start to see me wear them. So today I want to speak about a family story, but it has a pretty good meaning at the end. It has to do with my grandfather. My grandfather's name was Benny. This is my father's father. So my grandfather had a young wife and a, a baby boy, and he had to go off to the military. And his brother, by the name of Jimmy, lived down a block from him. They lived in East New York, and that's Brooklyn, for those of you who don't know. And the brother, unfortunately, had a tragic event happen in his life. He had a wife and a son that perished and passed away in a fire. Um, what he did was, while my grandfather was in the military, he pulled a snake move on him and he hooked up with his wife. And my grandfather wind up coming home from the military, going home, and lo and behold, his wife is missing and his baby son is missing, his baby boy. And he goes downstairs and asks his, ten asks his, uh, his tenant, where's my wife? And the tenant, you know, Benny, I don't want to get involved. My grandfather gets it out of him. And obviously, I'm sure that everybody could understand the scene that probably took pl place at my grandfather's uh, brother's house. And naturally, my grandfather wanted to kill his brother. My grandfather's father got involved, but he couldn't control my grandfather. He had to reach out to his brother on the other side that was in Benevento, Italy. The uncle had to jump on a plane, come to America, grab my grandfather and tell him, listen, you can't kill your brother and you're going to give your father a heart attack. Forget about her. And I know this is going to sound a little crazy because that's the way they were back then. Forget about the baby, you know, let your brother have them, which I don't agree with because that's his son and go about your life. And literally my grandfather took what he said to heart. He did not kill his brother. And as the kid grew up in age, they, my grandfather would pass him. They would pass each other on the street like strangers. It kind of was a bad situation. But anyway, naturally, my grandfather was destroyed and very depressed. Not only did his wife cheat on him, she cheated on him with his brother and his own brother, snaked him and went with his wife. And ultimately, they moved in right down the block with, with his brother, his, his wife and his baby are now living with his brother. So you can imagine how that is. And he became very de depressed and he started drinking more and more and more. The women in the family were trying to now link him up with somebody and, and, and introduce him to somebody. And they started taking him to parties where there was other women around. And he wind up meeting, which now became my grandmother. And she was 15 years younger than him. And she was a real beautiful looking woman. And they met, they started dating, they fell in love and he was happy. Well, World War II happened, right? I guess it's 1942, some, somewhere around there. And the military calls him back in and now he's got to go report to Fort Myers, Florida. And I guess from what took place previously, I, I bet you that that paid, uh, played a big part in what he had to tell her. And also he felt like maybe he wasn't coming home. They were going to go head out. They were, they were shipping out to North Africa to fight with the Germans and Rommel. And maybe he, he figured that he wasn't going to uh, make it home. And he did tell her, he, you know, he loved her. She was a lot younger than him. You're a beautiful woman. I don't know if I'm going to make it home. Why don't you go live your life? But, you know, I'm going to go 
off to war and kind of broke things off with her. My grandfather goes to Fort Myers and they're preparing to go on a ship from there and they were gonna go sail to uh, England and then set out to North Africa. While he's in Fort Myers, my grandmother jumped on a plane and went out there and met him and looked him up and, and met him and basically told him, I don't care. I mean, I'm in love with you and I, I wanna get married to you. And, you know, and they, they wind up getting married and I'm sure he was thrilled and happy that she came looking for him. And they wind up having, you know, I'm gonna skip through everything else, but they wind up having five children together and they were very happy. Unfortunately, she passed away at a young age. But the ending, the ending is, is that life sometimes will give you mis misfortune, right? And it seems like it's just terrible and that you really can't deal with it. Something like that, where your life really is all crumbled down, you know, and you just feel that obviously he was drinking a lot and he was depressed. And, but in actuality, it's just pushing you to where you belong. And in my grandfather's case, I don't know that other woman, I don't know who she is, but maybe this was not for him, even though he had a child with her, maybe this woman was not for him. Obviously she wasn't because she went with the brother and it pushed him to my grandmother, who he truly loved, who truly loved him and, and, and could have went and met somebody else. She, she was a beautiful woman. I unfortunately didn't get to meet her, but I, I have seen pictures of her. The, you know, and look what he got. He got a young, beautiful woman, not that it meant that she had to be young, and he wound up having five more children with her. And that's just the way life is. When life seems unbearable and it, it's, it's very surprising life, what you think is the worst thing that could happen to you in your life winds up turning out to be a blessing. So a misfortune turns into a blessing. And this happens a lot of times. But at the time that we're dealing with the misfortune, we're not, the, the blessing ain't there yet. So that's where the depression comes in and, you know, and all of that. And I think we've all went through this in our own lives. I have many a times. And I just wanted to share this story for those of you who are going through bad times right now. Keep your head up. Keep your chin up. There's blessings or a blessing to come and just hang in there. So with that, I hope that everyone enjoys the rest of that night and the rest of the weekend and keep it positive. I wish you all positivity, stay healthy. Ciao for now.